Can we seriously live off solar energy alone? Have you ever wondered how people lived before electricity? Does the thought of not being able to use your appliances and gadgets scare you? Life without a smartphone or a laptop? What the heck would that feel like, right? So much of our life is connected to electricity. In fact, electricity use in the United States in 2019 was more than 13 times greater than electricity use in 1950. The United States electricity consumption was 3.9 kilowatts per hour in 2019. With the way that we use electricity now, it's hard to imagine living a life without it. But what if our electricity source runs out? Will we go back to the time of candles and bonfires for light and heat? Or would we have other ways of powering our homes? This is matter. And today we'll find out, can we seriously live off solar energy alone? In the late 1800s, technology to harness sunlight as a source of power was developed due to expectations that coal, the main source of energy back then, will eventually run out. Solar energy is energy from the sun that is converted into thermal or electrical energy. It is considered a renewable energy because its source doesn't go away. As long as the sun's there, we can harness energy from it. If the sun does go out, I doubt our house lights are going to be what we're worried about. The most common way of generating solar energy is through photovoltaic cells, a device that generates energy when exposed to the rays of the sun. Imagine the amount of energy it generates during summer. Over the years, solar energy has become more popular with solar-powered vehicles, solar-powered gadgets, and solar-powered homes becoming more common. Ever notice those black panel things on top of your neighbor's roof? That's what we're talking about here. Solar energy, ladies and gentlemen. An average home needs around 28 to 34 250 watt panels to be completely off-grid. Off-grid means that the home is fitted with technology that will let the home owner live in it comfortably without needing to connect to public utilities. That means that a totally off-grid home relies on solar power or other renewable energy sources as its main source of electricity. But hey, compromises still need to be made. For example, you can't use your air conditioning or your space heater 24-7 all day long for an off-grid home to be fully efficient. But it's still a good alternative to traditional energy sources like coal and fossil fuels. Coal and fossil fuels are depleting, and there will come a time when they'll run out. But that's not the only thing we have to worry about. Solar flares cause electromagnetic pulses that disrupt electric currents, which will cause damage in power and communication lines. And this is not something that only happens in sci-fi movies. In 1859, a geomagnetic storm triggered by solar flares sent a charge through telegraph lines causing damage to property, even electrocuting a telegraph operator. This event, known as the Carrington Event, happened well before our homes were reliant to electricity. Imagine this type of thing happening today. It would be catastrophic. Entire cities would lose power. Communication lines would be cut off. Our phones would basically be bricks because we can't use it to send a message or make a call. Our gadgets will stop working. Stores will have to close down because businesses would stop operations. The world would be in complete chaos. But imagine if you were already living off-grid through solar power. Sure, you wouldn't be able to use your phone to call your mom or send a text to your friend or look up matter on Instagram, but you'd still be relatively comfortable. You see, solar panels and other components of an off-grid solar power system do not have circuitry inside, so they are not directly affected by electromagnetic pulses. They will still work should the sun decide to send electromagnetic pulses our way. There are still precautions to be taken, however, to ensure that your off-grid solar power system is completely safe from damage. You can install a metal mesh cage called Faraday cage to reduce damage of the circuitry. Well, that's the worst case scenario. In reality, 13% of the world's population, or roughly 940 million people, do not have access to electricity. These people are living, literally, off-grid, because there is no power grid, or they can't afford to connect to the grid. Various sectors have started to install solar and wind farms to provide clean energy to these communities. While solar power alone cannot be our only source of electricity, knowing how to harness it has significantly helped some communities improve their quality of life. 
For most of us, knowing that using solar power does not contribute to our planet's carbon emission and is the more environmentally friendly way instead of fossil fuels and coal is enough. Aside from that, being self-sufficient is a big bonus to many. You can live comfortably while harnessing power from the sun, which is a free and renewable source. What do you think is the biggest benefit of using solar power? Would you buy a solar-powered phone if there was one? Maybe an iSun phone? <laughs> Let us know in the comments section below, because we're dying to know your thoughts. Want to learn more about electricity and power, and heck, science in general for that matter? Then all you need to do is make sure you subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell to see your latest scientifically interesting videos. Oh, and smash the like button. Until next time, everyone. Thank you.